oversimplification of the technology would be to describe it as a paintable wire, but that's one way that we describe it to help people understand that it's a material like a paint that you apply to a surface like paper or wood or your wall or a piece of fabric, and once it dries, it becomes electrically conductive. So you can do things like light up an LED or trigger information on a computer. So we are, have three major projects right now. Uh, the first would be in the maker area, the second would be in education, and the last would be what we would call generally industrial applications. So in the maker community, we do a lot of work to nurture fundamental um, kind of uses of the technology, one of which is capacitive sensing. So one of the cool things about the material is that you can use it as a capacitive sensor. And what that means is that because it stores the charge, um, you can actually use it alongside with some programming. In this case, something we've programmed into the Arduino to detect an area around it. Um, in this case, we've used it to sort of map the 3D space around this square. So as I move my hand up and down, um, it can actually read the distance and trigger some effect depending on that or on whether I've actually made contact and touched it. In the educational uh, area of the company, we do a lot of research uh, into what teachers need in the classroom and how they can best use our materials, and we've responded to that with a series of educational kits. We've started to get a lot of interest from teachers and educators and parents um, for our products, which has been quite exciting, because it's given us the opportunity to go into the classroom, go to the science museum, work with children, and try to create products that we that are engaging and interesting and kind of bringing kids into kind of electronics at maybe quite a young age. So, for instance, we have a greeting card kit um, that teaches you about um, circuits and LEDs and batteries and how they need to go in a circuit the right way round um, and parallel circuits as well. So we'd like to really start making kits um, of kind of varying complexity to engage children at all different levels. And finally, in industrial applications, we try to take the insights from the maker community and we try to apply them to specific applications like our painted light switch. The um, painted light switch is um, something that we've put together to show kind of how you can use the paint to turn on and off the light. So it's effectively just a painted pad on the wall that's going to look like a light switch. Um, and when you touch it, it triggers a relay. The way that I like to explain how it works is um, paint holds a charge. It's similar to the way that lightning works and the clouds build up, they generate a large charge, it needs to discharge and that's when lightning happens. So just as you touch it, the charge goes obviously through you and, and discharges and the computer registers and, and, and holds it.